Good morning and welcome to United World Capital Daily Market Reviews. Today in the morning we can see a negative dynamics in the Asian stocks. Almost all the stock markets in Asia are traded in a negative zone. China is losing today more than minus one and a quarter percent and Japan is falling for minus one and a half percent. As to China, then this is more or less concerned the fact that yesterday war announced the HSBC PI indicator, which is concerned the production sector. The numbers on this indicator has made 47.8 points, which obviously is two points higher than they were in July. But at the same time, it is necessary to mention that this indicator is not reaching 50 points level for last 11 months. Obviously, that these numbers are not supporting China stock markets. If we are going to talk about the Japan, then there were announced the numbers on the import and export of the country, which has made minus 5.8 and minus 5.4 percent accordingly. This brought to the think that the saldo and the deficit of the trading balance of the country has reached 9.6 billions, which are extremely high numbers. At the same time, it is necessary to mention that all presented numbers were much higher and better than the analytics were predicting. But still, the general situation in the world and general fundamental situation in the China and Japan stock markets are not supporting it. And that's why we can see indexes falling for more than 1%. At the same time, we, we will pay our attention to the American indexes. Then yesterday, they have been traded in the green zone and has closed session uh, with S&P index 500 winning 0.12% from the day before. This mainly has been related due to the fact that a lot of good statistics came up from the house markets in the United States. The statistics on the new construction of the houses and the sales on the secondary markets became to be much better than they were predicted. Even the new licenses for new constructions has been decreasing, the data has been supporting the American stock market and we can see the in these house and property companies uh, winning yesterday more than 3%. At the same time, it's necessary to mention that the, that's the weakest sector in the market yesterday has been oil and gas sector, which mainly has been related to the fact that the announcement and the statement of Saudi Arabia about the oil has been supported by the um, data coming on the stocks of the oil in the United States, which has made 8.6 million barrels and only 1 million has been predicted by investors. Oil prices are quite weak today and we can see the Brent oil traded on 10.786 this morning with VTI losing more than 1%. It has been predict predicted by analytics what we will see the VTI oil in a very soon time lower than $90 per barrel. It is necessary to state that oil has been falling three days uh, continuously which has made 7% loss and this loss is the biggest loss for last two months. Also, it's necessary to pay some attention to the Euro-USD pair, which is traded today in the morning on a level 1.306, and uh, mainly analytics are predicting some technical correction. It's also maybe important to mention that the analytics of the Goldman Sachs uh, have been um, uh, consulting and advising its investors to start to cut the positions in Europe because the price which they have been promising to see 1.30 has been reached and they suspect that the price of Euro is going to decrease for some time. As I have mentioned before, today we are going to see quite interesting and a promising day in the market due to the fact that a lot of statistics are coming from the different countries in the Euro area like Germany, Spain is going to place its 10 years old bonds and uh, the primary data on the unemployment rate from the United States is coming. That's why I wish you a good and fascinating trading day. Thank you.